Sometimes you crack a finger. No one wants you to put your finger in there. It's not hot. Huh. Okay, I guess I gotta roll with it like this. Oh wow, oh, that's brighter. Open this curtain here. Uh, yeah, I think it's brighter. Is it? Okay. That's very interesting that it's backwards like that. Let me see. Oh, I'm not adding light in there. I guess we're gonna be backwards until I figure this out. <laughs> Let me figure this out. Is that too high? Oh, 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 okay. Sister in the building. Let me clean my screen. Is that enough light? Let me see. I might turn this light on. Yeah. You gonna make your popcorn later, too? Okay, I think I did it correctly. I'm still backwards, so I still see beach is backwards. I'm going to figure it out later on. song up <laughs> so I'm making today um, a couple things actually because I just found out just now literally 15 minutes ago I'm making broccoli cheddar soup so I think I have everything for that for my son Eddie anybody who knows Eddie knows he likes to eat but today for my house okay I'm gonna make crunchy chicken crunchy chicken is different from crisp it's like little bits of crunchiness all over the chicken is really seasoned. I'm going to walk you through how and what I have. Well, I'm not going to take all my secret seasons in there, but I have a lot of different seasonings in here. I mix it up and I give it to some of my ladies in my group. I mix it up. It's no secret, but you got to figure out what's all in there. You know, it's seasoned salt, the base and I have a little garlic and I have a couple of things in there. It's really good. Trust me. If you want to know what it is, you got to keep watching. It's really good. Okay? So, I'm going to make crunchy chicken. Shoot wanted some mac potatoes. This is backwards. I don't know how to fix it, but it's the four cheese potato. Uh, mac potatoes. So, I'm going to start with the four cheese mac potato. And then I have green beans. Um, it says two cups of water for those who don't know how to make this one here. Okay? I'm going to let that boil. Let me get my lid out. Okay, put my lid on here, let that boil. 
while that's boiling, I like to multitask. I have issues. I think I have an ADD, okay? I'm going to, I drain the cut green beans. I'm going to put it here in the back. You can put um, onions in here. You can really season it up. I don't do a lot of seasoning because I don't want to get an old lady with a spoon on it. So I don't do a lot of seasoning like that with the salt with the veggies. I let my vegetables be like kind of plain tasting because the chicken is going to be enough to where it'll let the mashed potatoes and the green beans just do its job, which is kind of be there as backup. It's kind of like Beyonce and Kelly and Rowling. So it's like, this is Kelly, no, no, Kelly and Michelle. And then this is Beyonce, the chicken. <laughs> let me stop. So I'm put a lid on the mashed potatoes and the green beans. So they're cooking. This is a medium fire, and I got the green beans on a lower fire because I don't want it to burn, you know what I mean? And so I have my grease here. I don't use regular grease. I use the off-brand vegetable shortening, or you can use the Crisco. It's backwards. I know. Work with me. But I like this because when you're frying, my sandwich came off, when you're frying chicken, um, it's very light. So when I fried one time in that canola or that vegetable oil, it leaves the chicken very heavy. It's like a bit of the chicken. So I just learned throughout this experimenting. Um, using the vegetable shortening is really, really good. And it gives the chicken a nice even brown color as well, as long as you know you're using the cast iron skillet too. So okay, let's get ready so I won't hold you. Let's get ready. I don't like, I don't play with raw chicken, honey. This chicken I get, um, it's um, from the halal market. I don't know if you guys know halal. Um, it's a certain way that the chicken or animals are to sleep. Oh, something going on right down the bottom of the hood. Uh -oh. No, but, <laughs> but no, it's something going on over here. <laughs> this pan will be for us. Um, once we put the chicken in here, I want to collect whatever oil is there, and I put some napkins down there. Back in the days, you know, people, you know, would put like newspaper down. I don't do that, but I'm just saying, just give me a little history. Newspaper, thank you for pushing. But these kids nowadays even die with the allergies for the newspaper. Okay, why is there in weaker these kids? So this is a chicken. I got this from the meat market. It's a halal market over here by my house. Um, this chicken wings, I got them cut up in three pieces. You say, I'll show you them, but they're all cut up small. And what I do when I get any of my meat to save time for any mom that's working and that just don't have it in them to just cook every day, to help you cook every day, just get your meat, have a headache and hassle, season all your things up, put them in Ziploc bags and you can write on there what's in there. And then all you gotta do is just take your um, meat and just put it in a crock pot and it's done. You get what I'm saying? Even if it's frozen, you can still put it in a crock pot. I always freeze my meat. This is fresh though. I always freeze my meat very flat. So then say so you don't want all this meat, you can just kind of break it off and then section it off and then just take it. So you won't have to say, oh, I gotta wait five hours to cook this little piece, you know? Lay it flat. Squeeze all the air out, and then you can just take it and break it like that, even your ground beef. So if you're a mom that's on the go, if you're working um, a lot and you have time, you want to cook for your kids, just take that, get your crock pot, and put it in there. And all you got to do is do your sides. You can do your sides when you get home with your kids so you can feel like you really did a home-cooked meal, and you, which you did, you know what I mean? But just prepped it. All about prepping. It was a time I had uh, six kids in my house. I was ready to kill all of them. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not a type A person. So whoever going to say I'm a type A person, everybody in heaven, I'm not a type A person. I like organization and things have a place. You get what I'm saying? So if you know where it's at, you be organized and you're on time for everything. You know what I'm saying? But I digress. So anyway, this is the seasoned chicken. I put a lot of different, um, there's nothing I mean. I put a lot of different herbs in here. I don't know if you guys can see in my in my cabinet. But I use a lot of herbs and spices to kind of give a different flavor. At the end, I do put something else on at the end, so just stay tuned. I'll show you what I do for my Latina ladies, you know, for my mi hermanas. So this is the seasoning. 
chicken uh, seasoning right here. This is chicken. And this is how I'm going to make it um, crunchy. I'm going to use, I use unbleached flour. That's my own personal choice. If you want the bleached flour, that's your business. I prefer no bleach in my body. It was different. So, I'm not going to put a heavy coat on there. I'm going to make like a paste. It's really weird. So, I'm going to take this. Oh, hold on. Let me open this up. Okay. So, I'm going to take this flour, right? Plop it. Plop it. Okay. Take some more. Plop it. Put a little bit of season on top. Okay. Now, I'm going to close the bag up. I'm going to shake it up. Now, I'm going to make a bomb mess. So I'm gonna kind of like mix it all in. It's really strange, but you're gonna. It ain't that flour in there. It's not gonna turn out crispy, girl. Watch me, watch me. Okay, if I can live in a house with six kids, dogs, cats, trips, I can make some fried crunchy chicken. Okay, so it's gonna have a weird, gooey texture to it, and that's what you want. You don't want it to be fully submerged with the flour. Okay. So you see how it's looking, got flour on the bottom, we're gonna mix it all up, okay? Give me some time. I'm a word, 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 word. <laughs> Let me stop on Facebook. You didn't hit me with a copyright. Okay, so I can feel my grease. Let me tell oh, that might way better. Let me massage it in. Okay, I'm massage like my masseuse, okay? Oh, I do have, speaking of masseuse, I have a personal masseuse who travels. If you want to know, give me up and he's inexpensive, okay? Just want to let you know. He comes to your house if you need it, but I prefer to get out the house. So I don't feel like being up in here every time, okay? But if you need a personal masseuse, I have one, okay? He's the masseuse for the uh, LA Galaxy. Really good. So now... Oh, we looking good, huh? Oh, oh, we looking good. Whoa, whoa, oh, hey. Okay, so this is looking good, real pasty. You understand? Pasty. So I'm gonna do it like that. Do it like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take one of them out so you can see it. Okay. I might add a little bit more on there. Okay. The fit good, yeah. My A. It's got a lot of flour on here, but it's gonna show up. Trust me. Okay, hold up. You can't take looking at raw chicken and don't look right now. Okay, hopefully I don't drop this. It don't matter if it's backwards or not. See this? Really good. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Watch me. Watch me. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Just a little bit. You understand? And the reason why I put this seasoning with it because when you put the flour on, it's gonna kind of take a little bit from there. So, just wanna mix this on up, okay, you guys? Trust me. Trust the process. I tell Chuck when he doesn't wanna do something, I'm like, Chuck, just trust me, okay? I'm the last one who's gonna, who gonna hurt you, okay? Then I thought I'd put your 10 pound behind that, okay? Yeah, chip was 10 pounds, in case anybody wants to know that. With that African head. Ooh, you, you got Shh, silence. That's all crying, okay? <laughs> hey, baby, only in America. Ooh, make sure your grease is hot for those who wanna, don't know how to cook. Make sure that I want that grease hot, you know. Boil, like you bought the burn James Brown, okay? With the grease top of you got too young for that. Ooh, -wee. it's gonna make a little, a little froth type of coating on top. Hey, hey. Y'all don't even smell it. Ooh, -wee. ooh. I wish you guys could smell it. I really do. Mm. Come on. Look, oh. I'm going to put one of these little skinny weird pieces in. I don't know if anybody eats these little weird ones. Hold on. These little weird ones, these little skinny ones. Okay. 
I'm gonna put that in there. Drop it in there. Drop, 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 drop it over. Let me get this to cook in here. My water for the mashed potatoes. My door open, so it's really windy over here. I don't know what's the weather like. Are you guys right? But it's extremely windy right here. Okay. So today we're making crunchy fried chicken, okay? I'll name it that, I don't know the name of it. Look, look, look at the pot, look, 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 look. You see that? It's getting all foamy. Mm, mm. It's gonna be good. Boom, boom. Okay, let's keep an eye on that pot. Okay, I'm gonna wash my gloves on. Okay. I don't wanna put it there. I know I'm gonna put it back in there, but I, you know, that's the top A in me. <laughs> I wanna wash it off. Oh my gosh. I clean as I go. Yeah, I know it's annoying to some people who live with me, but. Hey, that's less to clean, okay? Trust me. And you're done. So we have our green beans. I can put this in the trash, okay? So you can put garlic salt in there. Um, you can put, I don't know if you guys ever use tarragon. Um, Chuk makes a really good tarragon um, carrots. He bake them with a little butter on there. I'll do that. I'll have him do it next time. But sometimes I do put in my green beans. And it tastes really good. I'm going to leave these plain. He may doctor them up himself. I don't know. He's younger than me, so I just want to make sure I don't have a lot of salt intake. You know what I mean? Because that's just my own personal thing. I'm going to get a new pair of gloves. Um, but yeah, that's just me. This water is boiling. Almost. Come on now. Let me close my door. Where are you guys at? Are you guys in L.A.? You guys in Hollywood? Is it windy? Because right now where I'm at, child, it's windy, okay? You can, if you see the fire here, you can see all the wind is blowing in here, okay? We don't need any more seasoning. You can put that up. Have that over there. Oh, let me take this out. I'm going to need that in. And I think that's, that's it for now. Okay, so let's see. Green beans. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm. Green beans turned out quick. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you know I don't take much of the green beans, right? So those are pretty much done. See that? Oh, oh, oh. Am I falling up the screen? Oh. <laughs> Those are pretty much done. You can put some salt on there if you want to. You can sprinkle it. Let me do some salt because I know some people love, they love salt. Okay, so I'm going to do, let's, what kind of salt is this? Huh? What kind of salt do you guys think I use? I'm going to weird people. I'm going to put a little pink Himalayan salt on here. There we go. I put it for the homie. <laughs> okay. We'll stir it up. I turned the fire off of it. Now the water's boiling now. So now we're gonna do the mashed potatoes. Okay. This is your favorite. Uh, this is his favorite. I'm gonna put that in here. Turn the fire off, it says. We're supposed to remove it from here, but you know, people who cook, you know, we follow instructions. We do what we wanna do. So I'm gonna pour in this four. Cheese. He said, get a fork and whip it good. Whip a my okay. So now I am going to whip it. Whip it real good. Hey. Okay, yeah. You don't need no season in this, no salt and pepper, anything in this mashed potatoes. Salt and pepper here. Mm, mm, mm. Salt, 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 salt. Mm. 
pack, let it fluff up. And you can leave this alone. This one's kind of hot. I'm not going to be holding out my hand. Hold on now. Hold on. Oh. You guys see that? Look at the wind. See the wind blowing it? Mmm. So, that's it. That's the uh, four cheese mashed potatoes. And a lot of times they have on sale like 10 for 10. So, I remind to get these because this is really good in the house when I had everybody in the house. And you just throwing food off just to get them out the face. <laughs> when you have six people in the house, you say, trust me. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to put the lid back on here because I don't want the water from the lid or the steam to go back and then water the um, potatoes down, okay? So now I remove and put it back here. Take that off. Let's check on the chicken and see what's popping with the chicken. Oh, it smell. If you guys can smell it here, you see why my neighbors be jealous. <laughs> you know they would. Not me. Okay? So these flavors be killing them off. Okay? They can't take these flavors. I don't want this to be here. So it's almost done. When you know the chicken is ready, it has like a nice brown color on the bottom of it. And it's like submerging from, well, yeah, not submerging, yeah. Submerging a little bit. You can see it start to float now. When you first put them in, they're heavy, but you got like a little light brown color that's kind of full a little bit. I'm going to show you when I, before I turn them over. Because some of them look like they're done. I'm going to just a piece in the middle. I prefer to cook in a cast iron skillet because my mom is from South Honey and <laughs> she do everything in a cast iron skillet. Okay, now here is one of these colors. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to use the top from here to show you the color. Just so you can see the color. You see that color? You see that? Look, you see the crispiness all on there. Don't bite my, don't bite your phone. Don't bite your phone. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> hey! Okay, so now they're ready to be turned over. So I'm going to turn them over, look at them, make sure. That one's good. They raising the hand. Ding, ding, ding. Next, next. Ooh. Have anybody ever got popped real hard with some grease and almost thought they was about to die? Hope that don't happen to me. I have a tank top on today, so. Yeah. Here's another one. It's real pretty. Oh, yeah. That's a little small weird piece I was saying about. Oh, 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 oh. I have some dark piece on here. You can see this because I cook in the same grease sometimes. I'll use the same grease maybe three times. Shoot, thought he was going to die one time. I don't know if anybody else used the same grease like a couple times before they throw it out. So I've used this. This is my third time. So this will be my last time that I let it cool off and then I end up, you know, disposing it. But Shoot is so weird. He wants to keep using fresh grease each time. Um, You see that? Let me show you guys this. It's a nice pretty color as well. You can see the crunchy stuff that's on there. Let me see. You see how we get like a little bits and pieces that's on there. It's darker. Watch. Yeah, this is going to be beautiful on the middle. I'm going to chew one that y'all hear. Okay. Chew! Let's see if you cheap. Come on, get these dress to make popcorn. Yeah. You want to make some popcorn really quick? Can you get a chance? No, I mean. No, you don't want to make popcorn? No, I'm already trying to get a dress. Oh, you got you? He's no, not I'm not dressing even until later. It's just ready. And I'm already trying to dress. Okay. I'm going to make popcorn right now. You don't have to eat it. Well, I just want to make it for uh, Mr. Brea, the purple kind. Well, it doesn't come out purple. It comes out white. It comes out white? Yeah. I'm going to let you all know that. Let me show her. Let's 
See your popcorn, Sabrina. Oh, I forgot to bring it to the shop. When I come back to the shop, I'll bring this for you, Sabrina. Whole grain backwards, though. Whole grain purple popcorn. It's purple, but when we pop it, it comes out white. Okay? Is it clean? Hold on a second. Mm. Just put this pop a little bit. We have to measure this. Can we still do the popcorn? The popcorn in it? That's right here. Look up. Okay. This requires no oil at all. Hold on a second. It's just air. You can add the butter on top. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can add the um, butter on top. Some people don't like how the popcorn smells with oil. This is the measuring cup. And here you put the butter after you dump this part in. You put the butter. It melts the butter for you. You put your Himalayan salt and the butter. And you'll never believe how much it was. Okay. What is it? It was costing forty dollars, and then I got I got it for nineteen ninety nine. You guys want to know where? Let me know. Okay, so this is it. No oil, so it's really healthy. And then as soon as you plug it in, it start going. So as soon as you plug it in, it will start going. So don't, don't plug it. You have the popcorn. The car's not in. I move this. And it'll come out and force stuff out slowly. What? What? We popping. What? 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 Uh, we popping. <laughs> I think it's good. You want to do butter? Should we do butter? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, if you want to melt butter, I'm just going to put a little bit because we don't want butter. Put a little butter on there. Oh, oh. Yeah. Now this popcorn is a little bit harder. It's not even so much to... I think you put some more. Popcorn is purple and it comes down white. The air from here is extremely hot, okay? Just let me know. Oh, that's hot. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys. Mix it up. 
This thing is kind of hot. Let me show you. The purple popcorn, you can pour. See, it melts the butter for you. What? Y'all, what? Let's get a hot pan. Okay? And then that's it. You can mix it up. And then, mm, mm. There we go. Fresh, no oil, no calories like that, you know? So I just pop. And then that's it. That's good, all right? I'm going to show you that real quick. I'm going to put this on my table. Mm -hmm. That's really good. You guys like that? I'm going to snack on this one. Mm -hmm. We have a drawer full of popcorn. Mm -hmm. We're popcorn eaters. You see this? Look. <laughs> Yellow popcorn, organic popcorn, purple popcorn. I don't know if this time anymore. Popcorn. Mmm, mm, the chicken's good. So you see that little pieces? Oh, there we go. Can you see that? I see these heifers on YouTube. Do you see the brush? Do you see it? You see it? You see the color? <laughs> Put 
put something at the end. What I learned was putting a little bit of cilantro flakes is really good. Black people don't trip off of it. Okay. Now, I'm going to some of my little drinks. Here we go. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Should I take it down? Are you calling me? No. Not calling you, Chuck. Okay. Let me see. Hold on. I'll take you down. You guys are on a tripod. You guys should see that. Hold on. I don't know the camera. Hold on, y'all. Oh, there we go. You see? A little bit of cilantro. Um, it's dry flakes. Taste it on there. You guys, it, it's really, really good. Trust and believe me. And later on, um, I was told, this is my window. I go and look out my window in the morning when I pick my little ginger tea. I was told by my son I'm supposed to be making um, broccoli cheddar soup. So, yeah, I just found this out, okay? Right. So I might be back on here so I can make that and you guys can see how to make broccoli cheddar soup because he's been harassing me for broccoli cheddar soup, okay? So remember that cilantro at the end, okay? And that is pretty much it. I'm going to cook the rest of the chicken and put my music on. I can't play music with um, Facebook. They said they'll get you, okay? So, I'll say that because my daughter's going to come. And I know she's going to eat that. And then that's pretty much it. I'm going to put the second, maybe last batch in of chicken. And then that's it, you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. You can share the video if you want to. You know somebody who may not know how to... You saw that? I almost died. Girl, I'm going to tell you how to call 911. You see that grease? I'm going to pop me. I almost got Michael Jackson up in here. Oh! I would have been burnt. Girl, like the Pepsi for the commercial. So, you guys like the video, you can share it with other people. I just want to help the moms out who are at home trying to figure out a meal to cook for the kids. Remember, the, look, you see that? You see that? That's how you know it's mixed right. Okay? Um, and that's what I want to do to help all the moms who need to cook. I'll show you guys um, how to save time in the kitchen. Um, it's all about prepping. Okay? Remember that, ladies. All about prepping. When you're working two jobs or three jobs and you don't have the time to cook a good meal, I'm going to show you how. Trust me. Ooh, ooh. Okay? And that's pretty much it. Okay? Thank you, guys. If I go live again with the chicken, uh, no, the broccoli cheddar soup, I'll let you guys know because I have to clean up the kitchen and then prep to get everything cut all up and all that. So, I might do that later. Okay? Bye, you guys. I'm trying to figure out how do I...